One of the biggest advantages of using the squash cannon is to be able to dictate a rhythm which allows students to improve their rhythm much quicker compared to like randomly fed balls by a coach or a partner. I consider a good rhythm one of the most crucial parts of a good squash player so it should be trained very regularly. In this drill students will hit a rail of the ball coming from the squash cannon then after a sidestep simulate a cross court on the other side. The reason for simulating a cross court is to make sure that they watch the ball as they recover to the other side. Players will only be able to develop a rhythm if they consistently watch the ball in a game. Students should turn their head after simulating the cross court and watch the ball machine as they recover back to the other side. This will help students to time their movement correctly so that the last step is right before they hit the ball. Here you can see that I set my feet right before I hit the shot, which in turn will actually help you to use your follow through to carry you back to the middle, and also way more likely will be the right place to hit the ball. This is also a great drill to slow down very hectic players. I would use a high interval setting to force them to move very slowly. The better students time their movement to the ball, the easier it's going to be to actually recover back to the middle. On the other hand, it can just as well be used for a great workout or a drill under high pressure by decreasing the intervals. However, I would only shorten the intervals to a degree that students are still able to maintain a rhythm. With movement drills you have to be careful with balls laying around so students don't trip over them. Make sure you move them away or if needed just stop the machine and move them away. The entire movement pattern should be performed at a consistent speed and then increased gradually. But make sure students get a good feel for the rhythm needed. A good rhythm is crucial at a higher pace to be able to move efficiently around the court. Students need to be able to adjust the speed of their movement to the ball according to how much time is available. Have students practice this at different interval settings as if they play a game where the pace changes quite frequently even within a rally. And check that students stick to the same pattern every time and not add extra steps if the pace gets slower all of a sudden.